Oh, that's new. hours three and a half but we're back home now and i just went to the fair in this uh eddie munson cosplay because why not and i still have to take pictures for this and stuff so yeah but it's gonna wrap up today and then we got more stuff we're gonna do tomorrow and sunday so yeah Yee. and i gotta reapply my lipstick before i take pictures i was eating at the fair I didn't get my funnel cake though. I'll just make some. Hey guys, it's Saturday and it's late, but the only thing we're doing today, we're going to a haunted house. It's like an adult haunted house, eight, 21 plus, I think. Um, no kids. And it's like one of those ones where they can touch you. So it's like an extreme haunted house. I guess that's what you call it. So yeah, I'm just about to cook dinner before we go. So we can hurry up and eat and then go do that. But yeah, we didn't really do too much today. It was just me and Ari hanging out, cleaning up and stuff. Watched the movie earlier. That was it. So right now I'm about to get ready so we can go eat and then go. All right. I just finished cooking and luckily I still got like 30 minutes before we have to go. So I actually have time to eat. Chris went ahead and took Ari to the babysitters. So I'm going to show you what I cooked really quick before we go. So I just made some steak. And I made some fries. I steamed some broccoli. I don't know. I've just been craving steak and fries for a few days now. So I just went to the store, came back, started cooking, and yeah. All right. So this was our second year coming to this. And this is the Scary House of the South Extreme Haunt, Haunted House. Anyway, it's an adult-only uh, haunted house where they get to touch you. Um, last time we were there, there was a woman there that was completely topless, walking around in a mask, and you know. So, it's adult-only. Um, of course, this year it was very strange that some people bought kids, like, six and under. Um, I don't recommend that. Seriously. Bad idea. Anyway, obviously I couldn't show you inside of the haunted house um no cameras or flashes or anything like that are allowed but this is us like trying to get in line buying the tickets and all that stuff i do recommend going really early or buying the um fast passes which are 40 dollars. regular tickets for 25 dollars. we waited in line for almost three hours so yeah definitely get there early or get the fast passes because it was crazy i almost gave up honestly and this was before the line got super crazy um but yeah 
as you'll see later on it was like a ton of people and we were still like relatively early but we were not the earliest like lines opened up at like six we didn't get there till like after seven or so um but the house doesn't open until after dark that's when they start letting people in anyway as you can see there's like they set up a little house and stuff with like some little with decorations and whatnot in it to kind of keep you entertained while you're waiting in line to go inside because it is a very long wait they did decorate it pretty creepy if you can see it was really dark um they had like coffins in it and mutated babies and whatnot and stuff like that anyway there was a guy behind us in line who was very very drunk there were people drinking of course um not of course because i wouldn't expect that but there are people drinking in line and stuff and waiting there were like beer cans everywhere anyway this dude that was behind us he had the bright idea to jump in one of the coffins that were up for decoration and then this one he jumped in this one and then it fell with him in it it was just a whole mess anyway we had to scoot away from him so we could let people know that we were not with him because he was talking to us like the whole time so I, we didn't want people to think he was with us and then all of us get kicked out because no that was not happening anyway that's another haunted house we were going to try davis davis bro haunt dwayne's bro i don't know it's a haunted mansion somewhere that we want to try so that's going to be for next year as well we're going to try that and we're going to do this one again and a twisted turn of events i am going to more haunted houses this weekend actually and taking airy to one or two um because she hasn't been to any but anyway yeah the haunted house was actually really good um very long wait please go early if you can inside the haunted house they did a lot of work it was really cool they like split the houses in a way like added walls and stuff in a way where it seemed bigger than what it actually is there's an upstairs and a downstairs of course and they added somehow they added a school bus so when we like were out of one of the buildings we were in a school bus we were like exiting a school bus it was really cool but there were like several buildings and stuff and then at the end um as you'll see there's like people chasing you with chainsaws as you leave out of a garage or gate i don't know it was like a garage door opening and fire and everything i don't know it was really cool i recommend it it was a lot of fun seriously but get there early all right so it's after midnight my phone is on e and we just got back home um i was gonna do a video because i need to do a video for a wig i got and halloween stuff but i think i'm gonna save that for tomorrow morning and just try to get up early and do it before doing all the other stuff we have to do for tomorrow i'm tired it's after midnight um i'm probably gonna eat again because i ate like six hours ago so i'm hungry and we wait we were waiting in line for like two and a half three hours so yeah i'm hungry and my legs hurt anyway it was fun obviously we couldn't film inside the actual haunted house but it was cool it was nice um i laughed a lot um there were some jump scares and stuff of course chainsaw guys that seems to be like a very common occurrence now anyway it was really cool i really liked it i recommend it it is like over an hour away from where we live so i was nodding off on the drive back but yeah it's good. I really recommend it. It's called Scare House of the South. But yeah. And it is an extreme one, so they can touch you and stuff. So if you don't like that, then I don't recommend it. And there were a lot of like small spaces and stuff you had to crawl through. So if you have a problem with like uh, claustrophobia or anything like that, you probably want to opt out of it. Obviously, it's dark in there. So if you have a problem with that, you should opt out of it as well. And there are a lot of like very small spaces so just keep that in mind like minimum space to like squeeze through i don't know why they did that i guess they're trying to get as many scare rooms and stuff in as possible but they like added walls and stuff to kind of like enclose the walls a bit i guess to add more of a scary effect and stuff but also like you have like a very 
very small space to like squeeze through so yeah just keep that in mind um but yeah i recommend it it was really cool i really liked it um and it was fun and funny uh, especially with the people that were in front of us the guy in front of me was like super scared the entire time he basically had his eyes closed the entire time was like looking down had his face like in the back his face buried in the back of the person in front of him so yeah it was pretty funny anyway really cool enjoyed it check it out hello Asia here and it's sunday and i'm getting ready because we're going to a pumpkin patch and i'm also doing a wig review video so i'm doing that before you go to the pumpkin patch and this is the wig of course and i'm in the middle of finishing it up anyway i just wanted to come in do that really quick intro get back to this because we gotta leave in like 30 minutes all right also i made these really cute spiderweb pancakes for breakfast let me show you they're so cute just an idea for you guys if you want to do something for halloween and I made a little chocolate spider. I made it out of dark chocolate. The spider web did have powdered sugar on it, but as you can see, it melted on the pancake. But yeah, it had powdered sugar on top of it. Anyway, you can check it out on my baking Instagram. It's called Asia Bakes. So yeah, I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, I'll, it'll be out there and the video that will be out there as well. But yeah, it was so cute. That was really cool. And of course, it's not just for breakfast. You can eat it whenever, dinner, lunch, whenever. I never been in. I saw that truck on Friday or something a week ago when I was coming home from work. I was like, they have a Ben and Jerry's truck. Nice. They have a Ben and Jerry's uh cemetery for their ice creams they no longer make too. Okay. But that was really cool.
So I built a spider web using yarn. It's white yarn from Walmart. And I put spiders in it. We still have to finish our decorations, but it's getting late. And tomorrow's a work day and a school day, so we gotta call it a night. So that's what I did today. All right, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. So we are back from the pumpkin. When we came back from pumpkin picking, we did a little bit of Halloween decorating outside. I made my giant spider web, as you saw. The spider is attached, and we still have a lot more we need to do. Uh, Halloween is next Monday, so we have exactly a week. Um, yeah, it's not a lot of fun when you like feel like you have to do it. So I don't know. I started doing it at the end of September, and then we kind of just stopped. And also, I wasn't getting help, so I kind of just stopped. Um, and then we had like that hurricane, and we had to take everything down. And then I think that's when we really lost momentum. Momentum is when we had to take everything down and then put it back up. Cause then we didn't put it back up to like mid October, and then I was just kind of, I don't know, we never really put everything up. So, yeah. So we'll do some stuff. I mean, we always have stuff up, inflatables and whatnot. But I don't know. Last few years just felt like we had to do it, not like we wanted to do it. So hopefully, we'll just get back in the spirit and feel better about it. Um, yeah. Anyway, I finished my hair review video, and I might do another video. I need to do another video tonight, even though I have work in the morning, and I need to get up at like 6 a.m. I'll probably do another video tonight, just because I'm already dressed and everything for it, so why not just do it really quick? And it's just going to be me sitting there talking, telling about paranormal experiences, so I can do that before bed but right now i need to eat and do the video and then go to bed so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed oh i want to tell you about the i want to talk a little bit about when we went to a haunted house it was so funny it was good first of all i might do a voiceover for that part i don't know we were in line for like three hours and the guy in front of me was hilarious like once we got in there he was like freaking out. He kept screaming for his friend that he was clutching onto. Her name was Victoria, and I know that because he kept screaming her name. He was, Victoria, don't leave me. Slow down. Blah, blah. Like he kept burying his face in her back and like pulling on her shirt. <laughs> and then like midway through, he wanted to leave. He was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to leave. They're like, you can't. Like there was no way to leave without going all the way through. Let you cut through the woods, I guess. But it was dark as hell out there. And I know he wasn't trying to do that. But anyway, it was like no way for him to leave. Um, it was just hilarious. I'm really wondering if he's going to do it again next year. Because he was like screaming throughout the whole thing. His friends thought he was about to break down crying. He said he was about to have a panic attack. He said he was claustrophobic. Like he had his eyes closed for most of it because he was just so scared. It was so funny. Oh, God. Obviously, it was his first time doing that. But yeah, like if you guys even think about it, it's Scare House of the South. It's uh, an extreme haunted house. It's for adults only. I think it's like 18 or 21 plus. So yeah. Um, yeah, it was really good. They, You could tell they like put a lot of work, a lot of effort into it. They did a really good job. They had a lot more stuff this year, like new stuff, because they took two years off because of COVID. And then we went that like three years ago. And it was really good as well. Um, so yeah, I do recommend though, if you go get the fast passes because waiting in line for two hours and 45 minutes is ridiculous. I would have rather paid the extra $15 per ticket. The fast passes were $40. The regular tickets were $25. So I would have rather paid the extra $15 just so we didn't have to wait three hours in line. That was ridiculous. But yeah, it was good. Um, I definitely recommend it. And it was pretty long. It was like 30 minutes. It was like a 30 minute walkthrough. So it was really good. Um, I would recommend though being in the front if you really want to get scared because then you'll be like in the front getting all the, you know, jump scares and stuff. And not so much the people in the back. Um, the middle is cool too, but definitely the front or like the middle. 
but yeah, it was good. I definitely recommend it. Um, we're going to go next year again as well. I think they're doing it again next Saturday, like the Saturday right before Halloween. So that's going to be the last time they're doing it this year. But yeah, it was really cool. Definitely recommend it. It was a lot of fun. Um, that's the only haunted house I went to this year. I didn't even bother going to any other ones because they're okay. Like the ones that are like $10, $15, they're okay, but they're not really on the same level. So yeah. Anyway, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.